guys, I'm back today. I have some Webkins mail. So I placed a few orders through Amazon. One order I placed um, at the very tail end of April. And to be very honest, I wasn't sure if this guy was actually coming in or not. And as, a, as I'm talking, I'm kind of taking off some stickers that are on him. I just noticed that there was a sticker on his hand. So, <laughs> cute. Anyway, um, the other thing I ordered at the very early part of May, I'm still waiting on one more big order of Repkins. So, there's going to be a really big haul coming up. I don't know when. Hopefully tomorrow, but I can't guarantee that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Um, the first thing is I actually did get a plush. I got another Webkins plush. I've never had this one before. It's the Grey Langer. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. He is so, so adorable. Oh, I love the nose. I love the nose. Now, oh, he's got brown around his eyes too. That's cute. I never really noticed. Sometimes in, when, the, when the fur is dark around the face and they have really dark eyes, you can't really tell if there's actually something around the, as the, the, the iris or something like that. So that's cool. He does have a tag. So um, he's, uh, he's going to be adopted soon. And I'm thinking I'm actually going to name him Patrick. Um, I had uh, looked after an account, which a, a friend of mine now owns. And one of the webkins on that account is a Grey Langer named Patrick. So I kind of thought to myself, why not she and I have the same webkins with the same name on our respective accounts. So that's going to be his name. His name's going to be Patrick. And he is like really cute. His tail. So cute. I love the coloration of the fur too. It's like light on top, and then you push it back, and you can see it's like it's like a darker gray at the. On the, on the it's kind of like a two tone fur. That's really nice. It's a really nice attention to detail like that. It's what, what makes some of these Webkins plushies so very interesting. So that's Patrick, and I'm gonna put him over here. Now this next part of the video might take a little bit of time, but uh, I got this, and. Inside, I have a, uh, a five-pack of the Series 3 trading cards. Now, anyone who knows me should know that I love the Webkins trading cards. To me, these are like gold, man. I love how they're packaged nicely, too. And I'm actually going to go ahead and open them. I have to be a little careful because one of them could contain a code for the Magical Retriever. Um, that's the whole thing. I, I highly doubt any of these cards that I have are going to contain any pet code of any kind in them, as I only got five of these. The good thing is, though, they have a very reasonable price. So, if I wanted to order another five pack later this month, I can do that, and they're not going to be expensive. The other thing is, ugh, I love opening trading cards. The, the other thing I was going to say is, I, I might just go ahead and order a box of the Series 2 trading cards. Alright, I'm just going to... just going to Oh! Oh my gosh, this, there is... Oh my! I, I can't show you the code. I can't show you the code. But I did find a pet code in here! How amazing is that? You can't see that, right? No, my finger is covering it up. That is so cool. So, in addition to my Langer, I have another mystery pet. Here's what, here's what the back looks like. Um, now, if you find a Series 3 pack and that has the uh, Magical Retriever, this is going to be uh, gold in color. It's not going to be all rainbowy and pastel and stuff. That is so cool, though. That's so cool. And, of course... It does come with feature codes. Is there only? I guess it's only one code. Um, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to show you that either. But there's a little white box, and then it has the codes. So I'm not going to show you the feature codes, just to be safe. And here is um, stuff. This is a sticker card, and on the back it says "Come in and play." 
Sorry about the glare. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of, like, uh, well-known characters on here. A lot of really cute weapons. I cannot wait to see what kind of pet I, I get from the card. And here are some cards. Schnauzer. And Plumpy. And the Holiday Spring Celebration. With a little white bunny, rabbit, whatever. Okay, that is the first pack. How exciting. I found, I found a pet code. That is so cool, man. Uh, so, if I found the pet code, I, I just, like I said, I have to really be careful about opening these to make sure that you guys don't see um, any, any other possibilities of codes and stuff like that. So, for that, I kind of have to say, sorry, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this is a sparkly chihuahua. This thing on the back has the feature code. I'm not going to show you that. And then we have some other fun cards. Forest. Hippo. Dr. Quack. And writing contest trophy. You know, it's funny. They show you here this uh, writing contest trophy. I don't really recall any actual writing contest of any kind. So I have a few more packs to go. I'm sorry if this is a little bit longer of a video than I usually do, but you know me. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Some stickers, and it has some pets that are dressed up in outfits. That's cool. So this one always contains um, at least some stickers or something fun like that. To be very honest, I don't know if you can actually still find Magic with Fevers stickers. It's a caramel lion and the cocoa dino. Really cute. They're dressed up nice. Feature code card. And then we have lion. Toko Tukin. Webkin's Day. And Chortle Tort. Some of their foods, I, I have a hard time pronouncing the names of their foods. So, yeah. <laughs> they have very different and unusual names. Okay. So that, that's actually kind of awesome in, in the long run. Like I say, I cannot enhance the fact enough that, uh, you know, the, the codes, I mean, the uh, these are, like, really, really great. Oh, never mind. I, I thought at first, it's like, oh, my God, did I find one? No, I didn't. It was just the yellow back of a card. More stickers. W Shop, the Antique Lamp Post, and a Lioness. your code. Okay. And then the cards are Fred Rover, Lion, again, Deer, and Monkey and Monkey. I kind of miss that old uh, mm -mm, show that they used to put on the TV and stuff like that. I thought that was actually kind of, that was kind of cool. Here I am reminiscing about old days. I know. When you get older, oh boy. Well, I, like I say, I wasn't a kid when I got into Webkins at all anyway. I was like 25. 
going on 26. So, yeah, just to say I, I found it and I, I, I liked it. I, I've always thought Webkins was fun. Well, no more pet codes. That's a bummer. But, hey, I found one. So, cool. We have stickers again. We have the Gem Hunt logo. Black Poodle. And maybe some sort of a music box? Could be the Zangos in the box. Box. Feature code. Boulder Plunge Trophy. Someday I hope I can earn at least another game trophy. That's a little bit more of a challenge. Cheeky monkey. Very cheeky little bastard. Monstro Soupy. Yeah, who'd want to eat that shit? <laughs> and one more Toko Toucan. And those are my five packs of Webkin's cards, which is great. You guys got to see me open those cards and have fun. They each contain one feature code. So, and once again, I'm going to show you my really cute gray Langer. Really, really cute. Cannot wait to adopt him and start exploring Webkin's with another brand new pet. Well, new to me anyway. So, yeah, how awesome is that? Okay, guys, that's basically what I got to show you today. Um, I know this has been a, a longer video than what I usually do when it comes down to webkins or just about anything. I apologize for that, but I look forward to uh, seeing you guys again soon. And until then, be good and stay safe. Bye, everyone.